FZ2 creates diagrams, but you can also import files from other programs. Supporting files include CAD Zone, Pocket Zone, and Blitz files, as well as DXFDWG, text files from Total Stations, and L2D files. Or you can open them from the File Open command. Exporting files is also accomplished through the File menu. Select Save As, browse to the desired folder, and select your file format. Click Save to export. Satellite images can be a great backdrop or used for precision tracing of a scene. Click the Satellite tool to open Google Maps. Enter an address or coordinates. Resize the window as needed. Zoom in to closest approach or zoom out as far as you want. The farther out you go, the lower the resolution. So here's a trick. You can tile closer high-res maps. Click OK to insert the first map. All maps are geo-referenced, so as you go back to get more of the intersection, don't adjust zoom, just drag it to get more of the bigger scene. Place and overlay the map together. Another method for large scenes where low res is fine for parts but high res is desired in places is to place a wide map, then place another close-up map on top. See how high res blends into low res? Satellite images may have unwanted artifacts, like cars or trees. Remove them by selecting a map and clicking the Image Cleanup tool. In free mode, hold down the mouse button and scroll around the object. The background is sampled and applied over the surrounding image. Remove cars or shadows, but sometimes you might want to touch up an image. Click Poly and either select a color from the palette or right-click and click Select Color. Click the color you want, then trace the object to fill. There is an Undo command to delete the fill if needed. Notice on the Tools panel several options including Transparency to make it see-through, Fade to make it lighter, and Contrast to make it darker. Labeling is important to scenes, so click the Text tool, make any adjustments, and enter the desired text into the text field on the panel. Place the label in the diagram with a click. Rotate as necessary with the grips. The label gets a bit lost, so we can easily make some changes. Select the label and add a fill and border. Alternatively, you can adjust the font settings. Among the standard styles is Show Drop Shadow which is particularly effective. Change the color of the font to light blue or yellow and really make it pop. You can also place photos. Click the drop-down arrow beneath the satellite tool and click the camera icon. Browse to your image and double-click. Then click to place it. Use the horizontal align command to draw a line on the image that you want perfectly horizontal. Images do not come in geo-referenced or to scale. No problem. Click the Scale tool, span a known distance with a Scale tool, and enter that distance in the Scale Distance field. The image size will be adjusted to real-world scale. There are times when you may want to import high-resolution photos for tracing purposes, like seen orthorectified images, or high-definition photos from drones that have been stitched together. For rapid loading purposes, FZ2 will downsample high-res photos for faster loads. This can be changed, however, in the Preference window. With the default setting, an HD photo loads quickly because its resolution is reduced. When we zoom in, you can see the lack of detail. Let's delete this photo and adjust image max size to a higher setting. Now, when we import the same high resolution, it takes longer to import because of the greater size. We'll speed it up here. Now, when we zoom in, the details pop. We can see a flag, a recycling bin, and even something in the back of the car. Notice road details are visible too. Image tools are still available, from scaling to real-world dimensions to removing unwanted aspects. Be aware that the file size is going to be much larger.
Bubble labels are an industry favorite for packing information in a small space. Click the text drop-down arrow and select the bubble label command. The first click places the arrow point, the second click, the label. The command doesn't end with one label. You can immediately place more. Here, we're indicating the presence of witnesses by entering a W in the text 1 box and the starting number in text 2. Alternatively, the bubble itself can indicate the location of the witness and the arrow indicating what direction they were looking. Arrows and labels can be easily moved. Press Escape to end the command. The tool panel gives you several options. Not only can you change the text, you can make it a rectangle and fill it with color. Click Settings to make font style changes. Thank you for joining us in this overview of the Ferrozone 2D image and text features. Online courses are available at Faro Academy, and more video tutorials can be found on YouTube.